we are on our national adventure. Gibbs Garden is off the beaten interstate and divided highway path, and part of the route includes traveling the original Trail of Tears. We have officially arrived at Gibbs Garden. This place is a madhouse as far as traffic goes, getting here and parking. If you're coming on a weekend, it's going to be busy and you're going to want a lot of time. Walking the long walk down to the entrance. Garden hours are open 9 to 4 and the entry gate closes at 4 o'clock. You brought your camera? Yeah. yeah, there's gonna be some beautiful flowers here today. It looks like in the summer they have trolleys. Or maybe when it's like a little busier they use the trolleys. So much parking here. Busy. It's so busy. Our recommendation is to arrive early. The gates open at 9 o'clock and they're open Monday through Sunday. This is Gibbs Garden, 376 acres of artistically landscaped gardens surrounded by forest, ponds, streams, waterfalls, and beautiful bridges. I like the flowers. They're pretty, aren't they? Yeah. I like the yellow ones the most. When spring is in the air, Gibbs Garden's blooming. There are over 50 acres of rolling hills and fields full of daffodils, and March to mid-April, you have to come and see the 20 million enchanting blooms. Yellows, oranges, pinks, whites, all shades in between. I can smell some of the flowers. We made sure to grab a map and situate ourselves so we could figure out the first place we wanted to go, which was of course the Daffodil Garden. <music> Along the way, beautiful tulips were also in bloom. Yeah, they are pretty. We're at the start of the season, so the flowers are fully in bloom, but you've got areas that are still just starting to wake up and starting to bloom. Chloe, what do you think? Good. Good? It's so beautiful, isn't it? Which flowers are your favorite so far? The red ones. The red ones that we saw in the very beginning? We saw some pretty tulips in the beginning, didn't we? Yeah. You like the tulips? Yeah, and the pink ones. The pink ones? For 15 years, Jim Gibbs traveled the world viewing gardens of every style and decided he wanted to design and build a world-class garden of his own. So from 1980 through 2011, he focused on finding a suitable site with natural water source and beautiful mature trees covering rolling grounds. And in March of 2012, his dream came true. Gibbs Garden is one of the nation's largest residential estate gardens. Over 300 acres of mature trees, hills, parklands, and artistically designed flower gardens. There's 20 seasonal flower displays and five unique featured gardens. Four leaf clover. Yeah. We're walking through the beautiful grounds. There are tons of daffodils that are all in season and the girls are having a chance to see the different variations and beautiful ribbons of green and yellow that are fully blooming here at Gibbs Garden. It is recognized as one of the 13 best botanical gardens in America. From March through mid-April, you can come to one of the world's 10 best places to see daffodils. And then from May through November, you can look at the gardens as they change every two weeks. The gardens are beautifully designed so that there's always something new in bloom and there's always something new to come and experience. The gardens are composed of 16 gardens, including three feature gardens, the Manor House Gardens, Japanese and water lily gardens. Today we're visiting the daffodils as well as the manor house. This is where the daffodils is 
the kids' garden, and, the, and these are the daffodils. The grounds around the manor house were started in 1980 and planted with 20 to 30 year old plants and trees to provide instant age and character. Large Japanese maples, American hollies, and willow oaks were planted closer to the house with vines accenting the corner. The home site is one of the highest crests in the North Cherokee County. It captures a beautiful view of the North Georgia mountains. The house was placed 150 feet above water. And then the gardens were placed 30 feet below the crest, capturing the air currents to flow through the summer house. We've made it to the manor house, so they've got a beautiful pool behind us. So we have made it to the manor house and we're sitting underneath a tree and we're relaxing and just enjoying some of the water before we get a snack and see the rest of Gibbs' garden. Jim Gibbs is a firm believer in gardening genes. His two grandmothers were gardeners and one of his great aunts was an avid gardener. And as a child, he was fascinated with her beautiful garden consisting of fountains, flowering shrubs and trees. He used to say, when I grow up, I want to plant a garden just like hers. Jim's mother was a blue ribbon floral arranger and she and her four sisters loved to garden. Some of the English boxwoods in his garden were passed down to him from his aunt. The manor house is a mix of European architecture. The north view is reminiscent of an English manor with Palladian windows and doors. An archway connects the summer house which overlooks the gardens in the near distance and the North Georgia mountains. Architectural accents were purchased in Europe prior to building and used throughout the house including a 12-foot 14th century French limestone fireplace, 17th century French interior doors, and 18th century French beveled and leaded glass doors and windows. Antique heart pine and herring brick floors blend nicely with the iron staircase, railings, and European antique furnitures. We wish we could have seen any or all of that, but the buildings were closed and we were only able to see the home from the outside. A chance to tour around the outside of the manor house and all the beautiful flowers that are currently in bloom. There's so many that are currently getting up for the season. Springtime is always such a beautiful time of year to enjoy flowers right before the summer comes. Jim says passing down seeds and plants from generation to generation provides a kind of love that only a gardener understands. And I'm sure my three children and 11 grandchildren will enjoy this garden for years to come, as I hope the general public will enjoy visiting and viewing the legacy I leave behind. Walking down the hill, we're gonna head over and get a snack to eat. Are you hungry, Chloe? Yeah. garden is a fresh and alive from early dawn to the peace and tranquility of the setting sun.
What are you doing? Tree's nose. It is a tree's nose. <laughs> that's good. That's, that does look like a piggy nose. <laughs> <laughs> We just finished with Gibbs Garden. What did you think, Chloe? The flowers were all in bloom. Lots of yellows and lots of tulips. Carolina, was it pretty? Mm -hmm. Andrew, what was your fa favorite part? The manor. Well, I really like the manor. My favorite part was seeing the flowers and seeing the like little water fountain. I loved the pool area as well. The pool was gorgeous. Kiara, did you have a favorite? I just like seeing the flowers. The grounds are beautiful and there's definitely a lot of time still to see the daffodils and the tulips while they're still in season. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you'll hit subscribe and join the adventures. See you on the next one.